Hello, my friends, and welcome to an after hour, an after hour murder mystery. Now, I tried streaming this, and for some reason, it's just been giving me a lot of issues. So. We're going to do the following. We're just going to straight up record this. I've had a very rough night and... <sighs> and a very rough day even more. Let's push that any button, shall we? Now mind you, it was my second attempt at streaming this, but I said, you know what? I'm tired. I'm frustrated. So I might as well just go ahead and just record this. So welcome to the after item the After Hours Murder Mystery of Famicom Detective Club Part 2. Now this is one of those Japanese detective style games where you just go by menus in the vein of say Deja Vu and Shadowgate. So we're going to be going through a bit of menu as well as, you know, point and click. It's a damn shame they haven't done the first Detective Club game, fan translated. But they only, I think it's on S Switch, I'm not entirely certain, but that's what it feels like. But this one is fan translated, so let's get into this. Okay, let's the following is a work of fiction. Any similarity to places, names, or groups is entirely coincidental. Team Shikamaru presents. Famicom Detective Club for Nintendo Power. It all started that one night, three years ago. See him anywhere? No, not yet. He's bound to be out here somewhere, though. I was being followed. This isn't looking good. I'm oh, afraid. They're coming this way. I held my breath. Careful not to make the least bit of noise, but then I accidentally knocked over a soda can. Hey, you! Oh no, they found me. He's trying to get away! Quick, capture him! I ran and ran, but the men relentlessly followed in hot pursuit. Hoping to lose them, I darted around the nearby corner. However, Man was there, blocking my path. Whoa! What's the hurry, son? Uh, um, caught completely off guard and found myself just standing there as the two men caught up with me. You, why were you running from us? I'll be having your name and address now. It's only then that I realized that the two men were police officers. What seems to be the matter here? Just who might you be? Do you know this young man? No, but this boy was suspiciously wandering around here late night. 
we called out at him, he fled. Had no choice but to pursue. Okay, Sonny. We say we take a little trip downtown. Just one minute, please, officers. I realize this may sound sudden, but would it be too much to ask to let me handle this matter? The what? And just who do you think you are, Walter? You know, Liz, 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 Liz. not, sir. We'll be going now. Have a good night, sir. The officers left. I... Uh, thanks, mister. No, no. There's no need to thank me. But hey, you look thirsty. Which say we go get something to drink? man to a small coffee house. So, you set out on a mission to find your long-lost parents. Very commendable of you. However, I couldn't help but wonder, how are you doing? Is everything okay? It's alright. You don't have to say anything if you don't want to. If you don't mind my asking, where do you plan to go from here? You do have a place to stay, don't you? Here you just ask, as well as you, stuff that's going through your stuff that's going through your head. So here is like you, you're going to talk. So this is talk. Check is basically observe or or see. That's basically going to be like okay, your point and click is going to be check. And think is basically what's going on in your head during the situation. I have nothing to hide. You're 15 years old. Just out of junior high. You're on your own. Interesting. Seeing you brings back memories of who I used to be. I can't just leave you like this. I know this is sudden, but if you don't have anywhere else to go, Stay with me if you like. It's remarkable how much of myself I see in you. I don't even know your name. I'm Shinsuke Utsuki, a private detective. Really? Yes, well, I'm sure you'll do what's best for you. But I'll, like I said, your name. I can put you up for a name. Well, he seemed to respect him. Doesn't seem like a bad guy either. Guess it wouldn't hurt for a time being. Well, for the night, I suppose. Alright, so then. Shall we go? By the way, what's your name? And trust me, I have tried my damnedest to actually stream this. But like I said, I got fed up with trying to go through emotions with this, so. We're going with a name that just seems right at the time.
can only stream for 32 minutes. It, it, it didn't even go as far as that because I kept dropping frames. And... So I could just say, you know, that could be a throwaway. I already threw away a stream, by the way, so it's not like, oh, you didn't say anything because it kept just cutting off. So we're just going to call my character based off of um, case closed. But since it's like five layers, we're just going to shorten it down to. Egawa. The first time I streamed it was like Conan Edwin. Second time was Conan Egawa. So we're going with Conan Egawa. Oh, I'm Conan Egawa. Okay then, Mr. Egawa. It's a pleasure to meet you. That's how I came to know Detective Osugi. Before long, he took me in and I started to train as his protege. It seemed like a good move since I figured it would probably help me find my parents. As Bitsugi's right hand man, my job was to help out with whatever he needed to be done. However, one day, Something terrible happened. I never thought I'd ever encounter such a dreadful, terrifying event. It's something I'll never forget. So we're actually going to go through this, um, one chapter at a time. Wandering alone through our schoolhouse one evening, you suddenly hear someone call out for you from behind. Glancing over your shoulder, you see nothing but a lonesome girl standing there in solitude. With terrifying eyes of urgency. With a terrifying look of urgency. Detective Club, Volume 2, The Girl in Black, The Girl in the Bag, otherwise known as Stand Behind Them. It's not the girl in back. Black Afro. I can say the, tra the, the translation did a, the translator did a wonderful job for this. So let's begin. Kono has been staying with Detective Utsugi for a few months now. During his time, he has faithfully worked by Utsugi's side, an ever-watchful trainee. However, one day, a phone call is taken at the Utsugi Detective Agency. Something dreadful has happened. Hey boss, it's the police. There's been an incident. Okay, let them know we'll be down shortly. Chapter 1. Tragedy. As Atsugi and Conan arrive at the scene, they realize the police have already secured the area. Good day, Detective Igawa. Like I said, what I'm going to go through is like... This is going to be through chapter, chapter by chapter.
it sort of makes sense as to why I'm doing like prologue and then chapter one. Chapter. Yeah. Prologue and chapter one. I'm gonna keep it, you know, a chapter long. school student. Body washed up on the riverbank this morning. Cause of death. The body was discovered some time ago. Unfortunately, we're still unsure what happened. <clears throat> time of death. We still don't know much at this point. Estimation is impossible with this little information. to come and officially review the scene, he's running a bit late. Should have been here when you arrived. Hmm. Perhaps the body drifted downstream to the spot. Man has been known to strengthen the current in these runoffs. It could have just been a simple accident. That's what my intuition tells me, anyhow. to investigate the area where the body was found. Was there anything down by the rib ring? Well, let's check that place, shall we? This is where the girl was found, apparently. Piles of garbage have accumulated along the banks. It'd take forever to search those places. Find anything? Sifting through the mess for a little while, Conan discovers a notebook of some kind. Let's take it. He reaches into the muck and takes the notebook. It appears to be a high school student. freshman at Ushimitsu High School. I found this notebook. Really? It must be the victims. By all means, let the coroner have a look at it. Oh, so you're Conan. Okay then, nice to meet you. I always spoke with Mr. Atsugi about everything. Kind of you guy, wouldn't you say? <laughs> well, Let's get down to business, shall we? Yeah, let, let's do that. Forensics isn't a pretty job, but someone's got to do it. Be sure you're ready for what you see. It looks like the police haven't searched a body yet. She's complete. She looks completely untouched. From the notebook. Ah, so it is. 
If you notice anything out of the ordinary, don't hesitate to speak up. You know, the first thing we do is check around her neck. Her thick wet hair is tangled all around her neck. from around her neck? Good idea, Conan. I was just about to recommend doing that. Yeah, that's better. There's no jewelry or anything. Wait a second. What are all those marks? She's been strangled? That's the case then. What's this foul play? Not that that will be the case, Kevin. Sadly, it looks like the strangulation. We'll be opening up the case on this one as soon as possible. However, at the very moment, a blood curling shriek rings out from behind the curtain. Yoko! Why, Yoko? Why? And the girl gasps at the sight of the body. The man she is with isn't taking it much better either. Come, say something, please! She's shocked to hear anything right now. Hi! The man's busy being questioned. Bad boys. They seem to know the victim. Maybe I should let them say what they need to say before I do anything. I can't believe this. I er, was one of Yoko's teachers. My name's Tatsuya Hibino. But why? Why does this have to happen? Why does this have to happen? Yoko seems to have been murdered. He's shocked. He's shocked beyond all comprehension. Well, why did this have to happen? Of course, I can't say shit. seems visibly shaken. So why does it go? I suppose I'll just have to let them be for now. So it's calling for me. Looks like we're done here. This is the detective agency. Looks like we got a homicide on our hands. Sure does. Place the time of death at around 9 or 10 last night. Seemed like she was moved there post mortem. Cold blood murder. What kind of person could have done such a thing? The police are doing their best, but you're my best asset right now, Connor. I'm hereby putting you on the case. 
I'm confident you'll pick up the scent of the trail at the high school. What's on your mind? Before anything else, I'd like you to interview those two about what they know. I contacted the school and requested Mr. Avino and the girl return for some questioning. Uh -huh. Okay, Conan, I'm leaving it in your hands. Edogawa. What's yours? Oh, I'm Ayumi Tachibana. Yako was a close friend of mine. <laughs> Would you mind answering a few questions? Tell you what I know. Anything to help figure this out. They're saying she was murdered. Who could have done such a thing? You said you had an alibi. Can you remember what you were doing around 9 p.m. that evening? You think I'm the killer? I, I don't know what to think. I am only asking you. Okay. not going to. Please hear what she has to say. She still seems distraught. She's definitely a cutie, all right.
wouldn't happen to have any ideas about what happened to Yoko, would you? But I can't think of why anyone would want to hurt her. However, one thing comes to mind. Yoko and I have this detective club. Detective club? Together, we would investigate rumors around town and report what we discovered to the police. We always work together, investigating cases. I can't think of why someone would want to go specifically after her. Come to think of it, she was recently investigating something on her own. It might be related. I don't know. Mm. Do you know anything about what Yoko was investigating? I'm sure she was on to something. I could tell from the look in her eyes. Lately, she seemed... Different. Different. Hmm. How'd she sing? It was like something was always on her mind lately. I could swear I was looking at a completely different person. Let me jot some of this. Let me jot some of this down on my notepad. Explanation. Important information is automatically recorded to your memo pad. You can enter the memo screen by pressing the start button whenever the menu cursor is flashing. Here to try now. So the victim is Yoko Kojima, a 16-year high school freshman. She was found at a local riverbank strangled. The time of death is estimated to be between 9 and 10 p.m. on October 10th. Her body was moved there post-mortem. Before her death, she was searching for something, one, something. one week ago she changed. Tatsuya Hibino, 31 years old, high school teacher. This man was one of Yoko's teachers. He seemed very shocked when he heard about her death. Ayumi Tachibana, 15 years old, high school freshman. This girl had been running a detective club with the recent victim Yoko. How would you feel about a trip to Yoko's house? Really? Go to Yoko's home. And lead the way. This is Kojima residence. If I see that the husband named Hideo Kojima, I'm just gonna be like, I'm just gonna be like, your name is Kojima? Hideo Kojima? Please meet me. I am Detective Conan Egawa. Yeah, cause 
mama. I kick her yo. I kick her yo. The way the way they the way they made out. Sorry. Akiko. Hello, I'm Yoko's mother. Akiko Kojima. We spoke a short while ago. Please, let's do what she has to say. contacted me shortly after. I wish I knew something. Anything. I wish I knew something. Anything. I can't believe this is all really happening. Can you remember what you were doing around 9 p.m. that evening? I was here at home, waiting for Yoko to come back. You wouldn't happen to have any ideas about what happened to Yoko. some sort of resentment against your daughter. Anyone at all? I don't know. Not that I know of. Should I do something? He's back to this. In the days and weeks before the incident, has she started to act any differently? Now that you say it, uh, I suppose so. About a week ago, she started to act like she had a lot on her mind. One night, she came back very late. She seemed to be up all hours of the night, restless. She was always a good, upstanding girl. She had me worried. was something that could have happened to her a week ago. No, I mean, what could a little girl possibly be involved in? Well, now that I say it. Hmm. That next morning she did mention something rather strange. According to what Yoko's mother had to say, Yoko had indeed come upon a very imposing situation. Mom, I just had a dream. It was uh, strange. In it, I was walking down this one hallway at school. All of a sudden, from far behind me, someone started calling my name. I whipped around and saw a girl standing there, calling out at me. She was covered in blood. Help me. She said this, she slowly vanished into thin air. The next thing I knew, I was wide awake. It's left me with a really eerie feeling. I wish I could have stayed longer to figure out this or something. What is that, Yumi? This dream of hers. Oh my gosh. Come on, there's something I have to show you at the school. It's important. Okay, let's go. Thank you, Mrs. Kojima. This is Ushimitsu High School, where Ayumi attends. It's situated in a quiet suburb. 
Yoko Kojima was a student here as well. of something she heard at school. But maybe... The room has been passed down from student to student for longer than anyone knows. Some probably know it more about it than I do. Some students say that they sometimes get cold chills with... with that. Some students say they sometimes get cold chills while walking through the halls alone. Yep, that's my high school. That's Washington Prep right there. <laughs> Wait a second. I remember Yoka had been saying some strange things here at school. It was about one week ago. about the ghost. Yeah, now that I think about it, she was probably investigating the ghost story. I have to go ask around about this. She must have talked to some other people about it. questions I like to ask you. Well, so you're really a detective? In the flesh. Talk of the town now, though. How about you? She's a sophomore, I think. I don't know. I think she's a freshman. You're 15. You're 15. 16. Yeah, you're a freshman. If you're, if you reach 15, 16, you are a freshman. When you get to 17, you're a junior. When you get to 18, you're a sophomore. I mean, you know, you, you become a senior. When you, when you turn 18, you turn a senior. 17, junior. 15, 16, you're a freshman. Freshman, sophomore. Freshman, then sophomore. 
then junior, then senior. That's what I remember. 15 was freshman, 16 is sophomore, 17 is junior, 18 is senior. to know anything about that old ghost story, would you? You mean... The tale of the girl in the back? Creeps me out. It's called The Tale of the Girl in Back? Tell me more. Hey, you know about it, don't you? Yeah, I've heard... Some things here and there. Do you think you could tell me what you heard? Yeah, I suppose. They say that sometimes when you're all alone in school here. You'll hear someone calling to you from behind. And when you turn around, this girl will be there. She'll just be staring at you, covered with blood. <sighs> and at other times, you might be walking through the hallway, and you'll suddenly hear a faint voice behind you. But when you turn around, no one will be there. The voice seems to come from all directions. No one's been able to figure out where it comes from. I didn't feel like wanting to stream this. Recording was the best option. Like, it always feels like, oh, you're streaming? Nope. After hours? Oh, hell no. These guys remember me from doing Grace at Ace Attorney. <laughs> you look all around, trying to find the voice. And then suddenly, she'll be right there, standing in front of you. So what did she know? It's too bad. What happened? around such a frightening rumor. Is that their idea of a, is that their idea of a joke or something? He's in charge of class 1A. Kinda cute if you ask me. I don't know, he's kinda weird sometimes. Ghost story? It has to be at least sort of true, right? It's like it's the ghost of some student who killed herself or something. I guess that's kind of an after school special, though. This walkthrough that I'm looking at is just worded so many ways wrong, but I kind of understand what it's saying.
Did anything ever happen here a long time ago? Something that could perhaps start all these rumors? I don't know. We've only been here a couple of years. Can you think of anyone who's been here a long time? Yeah, there are a few people who have been here for 10 or 20 years. Hasn't Mr. Komada been here the longest? Mr. Komada. He's the art teacher. He's always telling us old stories during class. Hey, that reminds me of a really scary story I heard the other day. You wanna hear it? No! Why do you always have to be talking about that stuff? I'm sick of hearing about it. Goodbye! Hey, wait up! Stones have left. Talk with this Komada fellow might be worth my mom. It's the art room. Please meet you. I'm Detective Conan Edogawa. Well, hello, I'm Tetsushi. I'm Tetsushi. 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 Well, hello, I'm Tetsushi Komada. Pleasure's all mine, young man. Mr. Komada, can you tell me anything about what's been going on here lately? What do you know about the girl in the back? That old rumor is just one of my many. One of me that's been going around for ages. There's always someone gossiping about her. You'll never die. However, that rumor is unique. It's been getting more and more popular lately. Students talk about as though she's in the next room. I suppose I first heard it around 15 or so years ago. Was anything relevant happening at the school back in those days? Um, ah, yes. Uh, one thing comes to mind. In November of that year, one of the schoolgirls here went missing one day. Oh, uh, trace. My kind of fine arts that I, you know, really wanted, you know. One second, I want to make sure I got all my notes here. I do, I just want to make sure I do. About that disappearance. What happened to her? No one knows. She was never heard from again. Some say she's still alive. Do you think she... Do you think there could be some sort of connection between this girl's disappearance and the tale of the girl in the back? I don't think that I believe the rumor of the girl in the back started around the very same time as it disappeared. Ask about that rumor. Ah, so you ask around about it and it led you to me. Now, what was the now what was the name of the student who passed way recently? Freshman named Yoko Kojima. That 
name rings a bell. I think she was the girl who came here not too long ago, asking some questions. Yes, I'm trying to find out what she was onto. Actually, I'm not sure if it was her or not. Oh, there's the school bell. I'm sorry, but I've got to get going. Alright, thanks for the information, Mr. Hamada. Would it be alright if I came back tomorrow? Of course! You're always welcome here. Thank you for your time. I'll be on my way now. Welcome back, Conan. How was it out there? back room may be connected to Yoko Kojima, but the question is how? The rumor seems to have gotten started around the same time a certain schoolgirl went missing. Could her disappearance be related in some way to what happened to Yoko? I wonder if there's a connection between Yoko's death and the tale of the girl in the back. I know you have a lot of questions. However, the truth is, I'm somewhat preoccupied at the moment. The statute of limitations is about to expire on another case, and the police have asked me to consult with them before time runs out. Huh? Looks like you'll be pretty much on your own here. From here on out. Don't get discouraged, Conan. Got a feeling you'll do fine. I'll be at the police station if you need me. Good luck, detective. Hmm. I wonder. What should I do first? It would probably be a good idea to investigate Yoko's death and it somehow connects to that girl on the back. Speaking of Yoko, that teacher Hibino, who didn't show up here, is acting awfully shaky originally. I wonder if he's calmed down by now. Don't leave yet, boss! I don't know where to start. <sighs> Sorry, I forgot something. I was keeping it in custody for the police. I'm letting you use it for the time being, though. So. You'll probably find it more useful than I will. Good luck, detective. I should probably get some shut eye for the time being. I suppose I can start the day f by heading down to school. I'd really like to have another talk with Mr. Kamada. Boy, I can run, can <laughs> So... This only means one thing. I'm actually going to stop here and drop a save, like so. And in the next part, we shall take on Chapter 2, Party Works. So stay tuned. More of Famicom Dante Club. 
part two. The girl in the back. Right after this, thanks so much for watching.